Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday lunchtime and uh, we're just after having a heavy shower of rain with some beautiful sunshine all morning. But uh, clouds clouds arrived in. We had a heavy we had heavy uh, hailstones initially and then turned into heavy rain. We can see some blue blue skies starting to appear now just over the trees in the background. Uh, so hopefully we have a little bit of sunshine coming back out. A few jobs to do today. Uh, firstly, Tally Porter is here. Little tipping trailer is also there. Uh, we're going to be loading some silage onto that from the pit. That's going down to the cows on the out farm. So I'll take you along for the spin when we're doing that. Uh, also, we we had a couple of calves born yesterday, Sunday. Uh, we had one born, uh, it was very late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, around 2 a.m. Sunday morning, actually. Um, so we'll have a look at we'll have a look at that calf, and then we also had another calf born then uh, yesterday morning around 8 a.m. as well. So uh, we had two calves born then, none today so far yet. Anyway, uh, both of them were out of the infertile Charlie. Uh, so uh, he was he was doing something right at one stage anyway last year. So uh, I think we still have maybe about three more calves that will probably be out of the the infertile Charlie. So. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll have a, anyway, we'll have a look at those cows later. Uh, we did a little bit of transformation here on our meal shed. So this is where we store our treated barley. Uh, we had about 25, 30 tonne of it left in the shed. And I moved it out of here on Saturday. We were tight for space. We are a little bit tight for, for space. We're always tight for space for the cows and the calving. So uh, we've bedded this shed and... Uh, it's quite a good job. There's four cows and calves in it, and they are very comfortable. Just two big bales of straw here, a gate, and the drinker. That's the cube here. There's a drinker in this cube, and that's kind of what what we've done uh, and bedded it. So uh, very comfortable for them. We could easily fit another uh, two or three cows and calves in here, and they'd have lots and lots of space. Uh, and that's that's more than likely what we will do. We leave this bedded now for the for the calving period. Um, but yeah. Very happy. You see the the sick calf here drinking its mother. Uh, it is it is doing well. Uh, it's the calf got a little bit of a chill a couple of weeks ago. Uh, most of these here are was one of them is our own heifer from we kept a few years back, and these are some of the original cows here that we've had. Uh, the probably well, 502 is here from uh, around 2012, and this one here was 2013. So. They have a few calves through them at this stage. Uh, there's also uh, this dairy bred cow. She'd be cross between a semental and a, out of a dairy cow. Uh, and she turned out to be in calf a few years ago and we've kept her and she has fantastic calves every year. So why we've kept her. She looks nothing. She doesn't look like a good cow. She's not one that you'd even want in your herd by the, just looking at her. But she has super calves every year. So hence why she gets to stay. Uh, this is our calf here, it's on the ground asleep, so uh, that is that. So, uh, yeah, simple enough set up, we just threw the round feeder in here, uh, bale hay into it, so they're munching away at that. And then the, the cube drinker, also very simple set up. Uh, you can see I've just had uh, one of the plastic bowl drinkers on it. And the full of it, well they're in here since Saturday, so, no, was it Friday or Saturday? I think it was Saturday we moved them in here. No, Friday, what's the right day? Sorry, Friday they moved in here. And they'll still get another few days out of the water. And we will then, uh, we'll just fill it back up. So anyway, that's it. So we'll start to fill this trailer and we'll get a bit of footage of that. And uh, we'll have a bit of a chat then a bit later on.
so that is the side it's all pushed in lovely smell of it here now uh, and should be a bit tastier than the the round bales that we're getting um this should do them five days i'd say four or five days at least uh, there's about 20 i think there's 23 cows still here uh so yeah they and like the fact now that when it's in they can eat uh toward the way in on each side and you're always left in with a toad then at the end you just have to shovel it in so there'll be no shoveling or graping in here for two or three days at least um so that's it anyway uh back to the yard and uh, we'll have a look at the we'll have a look at the calves that have been born so feeding is complete for the evening and i'm just going to finish off this evening now we're going to have a wee look at uh the few calves that was born uh sunday morning uh, we actually had another calf born earlier on as well all is okay with it. It's actually, we put it straight in. Uh, it was born for a couple of hours. Uh, had drank a couple of times. We put it in the pen over with the, in the shed over with the, the other four that we seen earlier in the video. So uh, there's no light over there. So I'm having to check them just with a, with, with, with a headlight. So I'm not going to take any footage of it today. But as I say, we look at the two that was born yesterday morning. Uh, this red girl here, uh, she is close to calving as is a, uh, the black one in on this side so we're just gonna keep a tight eye on them i think they should calve inside the next 24 hours might go a little more than that but i don't think so i think they should calve inside the next 24 hours uh so anyway the two that uh two that was born yesterday this is the second one the first one that was born yesterday was born at 2 a.m this is him in here so see him there he's asleep along the wall his mother's just got fresh feed in and she's feeding away um but yeah lovely calf he's uh, that's a half a calf and it's just asleep there at the minute so I'm not going to annoy it too much this is the one we had the issue with I uh, had a little foot issue so uh, it's quite a big calf actually for the size she's not that big of a cow uh, but this is a very big calf let him stand up and you might be able to see his foot come on guy come on that's the fella come on that's the fella now so see the way the foot is come on round come on round slowly that's the boy. No, so you can see the way the foot is out in front of him all the time. Uh, the ligaments uh, must have been the way he was. Must have been the way that he's coming over. He's very friendly. Uh, must have been the way that he was sitting inside in the cow. Uh, now initially, when he come out at first, the foot was straight out like this. Was able to put no weight at all. We can see now he's starting to put a little bit of weight in it and starting to straighten around the correct direction. But lovely calf. Let me get a look back a little bit from him. You can just see him. Uh, yeah, lovely, grothy looking Shirley calf. Considering he's only a little over 24 hours old, uh, he's uh, he's a lovely calf. I should have had this on a wider, on the wider lens than what it is. But yeah, you can kind of see him anyway. But he's doing well, and he's able to get up and move about now, which is great. Last night he wasn't. We were having to, we were having to pull him over and uh, kind of get him lying on the cow and lift his head up to get to get the drink. But that all changed overnight. He was able to get up and mosey about himself. Once he got a few feeds into him, he was he was moving nicely. So, but you can see him. He's struggling a little bit, but he's getting there. Uh, and I'd say within he's, he's he's trying to jump around the pen, so he's in good form. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, nature always finds a way, doesn't it? Now he's waiting for a drink. So you can see he's, he's, he's getting around there nicely. And I'd say I'll, we'll come back to him in a day or so and you'll see how much he'll have, he'll have improved even from that. But that's it. Uh, we'll head on out and leave them alone. Uh, and then obviously I'll be back later on and I'll, I'll just check around them and see how these other girls are doing. Now, and that is it. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Uh, also like it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And we will see you in the next one.